Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're doing a resource roundup. I'm always looking for ways to become a better developer. And so I'm always on the lookout for good books, blogs, conference talks, and other stuff that help me level up my game. In this video, I wanna share with you a couple of things that I've enjoyed in the last couple of weeks. I've been focusing a lot on improving my craft as a developer. And so we've got a blog, a book, and a conference talk that I think will help you do exactly that. So let's take a look at them. So first we have the blog, which is the Industrial Logic blog. If you're not familiar with Industrial Logic, they provide a lot of training for software developers. And of course that training is paid for, but the blog is absolutely free. And I've been reading a lot of great articles on there recently. One of my favorites is a post on the seven code virtues, which is a list of principles or virtues that you can think about when you're adding new business logic to your code. The idea here is that not only do you want your code to be working, but after that, you need to make sure that it is unique within your code base. Maybe that it's very simple and easy to understand, that it has a clear purpose. Good code is about so much more than just does it match the functional requirements. And you'll learn about that in the post on the seven code virtues. Of course, they have a lot of other great posts as well. There's stuff about test-driven development and better testing practices in general. There's a lot of material on the software development process and how you can implement good agile practices and how you can use continuous delivery to improve the quality of your code. If you want to expose yourself to ideas that will make you a better programmer and a better collaborator, then you should definitely check out this blog. I don't know if people subscribe to blogs that much anymore, but this is definitely one that is worth dusting off your old RSS reader so you can keep up to date with a lot of the cool stuff they have coming out there. Next up, we have a book, and the book I want to tell you about is The Pragmatic Programmer. Now, this is not a new book by any means. The edition I have here is a couple years old, and it's the 20th anniversary edition. So this book is almost ancient as far as software books go. But a lot of people say that this is one of the best software books ever written, and I think I agree with them. This is written by David Thomas and Andrew Hunt, both of whom were involved in the original Agile Manifesto and big names in the code quality community. Definitely check them out. They've got a lot of cool conference talks that I think you'd love uh, if you're not familiar with their work. But this book is great because it has something for you no matter what level of experience you have as a programmer. This book is full of best practices and advice that ring true no matter what language you're working in, what library or framework you're using. Every time you pick up this book, you'll come away with something new. They talk about the software development process, how to think about decisions and trade-offs, how to experiment and prototype, and estimate how long work will take. They'll introduce you to a lot of core design patterns and timeless tools that I use almost every day as a software developer. Basically, this book is all about the craft of software. It's about taking accountability for your work and building programs that you are proud of. That's kind of what I want this whole YouTube channel to be about, and that's one of the reasons that I love this book so much. So definitely check out The Pragmatic Programmer. The final thing I have for you today is a conference talk, and that is Eight Lines of Code by Greg Young. He gave this talk in 2013 at QCon London, uh, but if you're not familiar with Greg Young, definitely check out some of his other conference talks. He's got really cool talks on CQRS and event sourcing. I love his work. But this talk, Eight Lines of Code, is all about writing simple code. He uses mainly examples from Java or C-sharp, but honestly, it's all very relevant for those of us working in JavaScript or TypeScript or really any other language. He's trying to answer the question, what is simple code? And at the core, he says, simple code is code that does not use magic. Magic, in this case, is any code that we don't understand because of hidden complexity. Sometimes magic stops working, and by definition, you don't understand magic. In this talk, he argues that simple code is really code that you can understand because you see everything that you need to see. Simple code is not just shorter methods and shorter classes. He uses several design patterns in this talk, and he shows how choosing the wrong design pattern can actually hide complexity and obfuscate your code, whereas choosing the right design pattern actually reduces and doesn't just hide the complexity and makes it more obvious what your code is trying to do. To be honest, this is an idea that I'm still kind of chewing on myself, still figuring out how I can make my own code more simple, not by hiding complexity, but by actually removing it. So if you have ideas or other resources on this topic, definitely let me know in the comments. But for now, this is a great place to start Eight Lines of Code by Greg Young. So those are my three recommendations for you today. If you have enjoyed these things before, let me know in the comments. If you have other resources that have helped you improve your craft of coding, then I want to hear about those. So put that in the comments too. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.